The most far-off human-made object is NASA's Explorer 1 rocket, which has figured out how to reach interstellar space. Imagine launching a shuttle 45 years ago, yet exploring regions it was never expected to reach, well past its scheduled lifespan. That is the incredible truth of an evolved NASA mission that is redefining space exploration. However, there's an even more interesting thing. This fearless shuttle is not just miles and miles away from its launch point, but it continues to send information back to Earth using technology older than that of a tape player. That's not all. The spacecraft launched in 1977 not only made a discovery that has shaken mainstream scientists, but it has also caught the attention of the whole world. What could this astonishing view be in the far reaches of space? And what does it mean for us here on Earth? There was a critical crossroads in history when two of the most astonishing space missions of all time launched, introducing the era of space exploration. Thanks to the brilliant mind of Gary Flandro of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, an ideal course was outlined for the probes to reach the distant planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune with just a pencil. What's more, 21st century engineering tools made it possible. Flandro made a startling discovery in the late 1970s and early 1980s. The four gas giants would be aligned in a remarkable grandiose setup, creating a sort of celestial necklace with Earth. This would allow spacecraft passing near each planet to gain speed thanks to its gravity, as though they were being pulled by an invisible rope. Thanks to this gravitational assist, a journey that would normally have taken years from Earth to Neptune was reduced to just 12 years. However, there was a catch. This alignment happened only once every 176 years. Faced with such a remarkable opportunity, NASA acted quickly and, just 15 days apart, launched two identical probes, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, in the summer of 1977, with the goal of exploiting this massive alignment. Little did they know that these twin adventures would break all records in the history of space missions. Over 45 years later, the Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 probes are still functional, sending back data daily from the outer reaches of our solar system. These probes have become the farthest ships in history, having traveled far beyond what was first envisioned, an amazing feat, considering their original mission was designed to last only four years. Nonetheless, these interstellar trailblazers had plenty of surprises in store. At the beginning of their legendary journeys, they sent back stunning close-up pictures of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, revealing worlds far more dynamic and active than previously thought. These discoveries of active volcanoes and ice fields forever changed our understanding of these far-off corners of the solar system. Voyager 2, in particular, was the only spacecraft to approach Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989, becoming the only spacecraft ever to visit these planets, astonishing scientists with incredible findings in previously unexplored regions. More than 14 billion kilometers from Earth, these Volkswagen beetle size probes have defied all expectations and continued to push the boundaries of our knowledge. The explorer's journey began with a gravity-assist maneuver around Venus, a feat never before attempted by any spacecraft, on their way to Mercury, making them true pioneers. The trip to Jupiter took the spacecraft nearly three times the distance Mercury is from Earth and forced them to pass through the dangerous asteroid belt a challenge previously faced by Pioneer 10 and 11 missions. But the challenges didn't end there. With just 69 kilobytes of memory, about a fraction of the capacity of a modern smartphone, these onboard computers had to rely on their own ingenuity to manage the complexities of this unprecedented journey. Data gathered by instruments onboard the explorers was stored on a tape recorder before being transmitted back to Earth via a transmitter that used only 23 watts, about the same power as a light bulb. These probes were equipped with 12-meter diameter satellite dishes to facilitate communications. They used lightspeed radio waves to send and receive messages. But as the distance from Earth grew, with a delay of 3 to 4 light seconds every day, significant challenges arose. One of those challenges, for example, was that signals from Voyager 2 took over 18 hours to reach Earth. 
An increasing background noise from radios, televisions, cell phones, and other sources made it progressively harder to receive the faint signals from the spacecraft. Despite these obstacles, the Voyager probes have amazed everyone and continue to surprise astronomers with startling discoveries in an interstellar void. Their journey has altered how we understand the universe and changed our perspective on the unknown beyond our own solar system. Beyond our solar system lies the mysterious Oort cloud, an immense gathering of comet-like objects held together by the sun's gravity, extending to the nearest star. Although the explorers are still slowly making their way toward that distant realm, their entry into interstellar space began when they crossed the heliopause, the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space. This boundary was initially estimated to be about 50 astronomical units from Earth, and thus it was decided to continue funding the mission even as it showed great promise. However, crossing this boundary did not reveal an immediate change in the environment leaving scientists puzzled. Entry into interstellar space was expected to be accompanied by a sudden increase in the number of cosmic rays, high-energy particles traveling at almost the speed of light, emitted by supernovae and other cosmic phenomena. Most of the high-energy particles are deflected by the magnetic shield produced by the heliosphere, which protects our solar system from most external dangers. The Voyager mission team also closely monitored any changes in the prevailing magnetic field as the spacecraft moved into the interstellar medium, a region made up of ionized gases and influenced by nearby stars. The interstellar magnetic field was expected to be oriented differently than that of the heliosphere. However, the Voyager probes detected no significant changes in the magnetic field. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 finally crossed the heliopause and transmitted fascinating data confirming the expected increase in plasma density, although without evidence of a shift in the magnetic fields. This was remarkable because it had been predicted that as the spacecraft moved from a region dominated by the sun's magnetic field to one affected by other stars, there would be a noticeable change in the magnetic field. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. The Voyager missions have fundamentally changed the way we view the cosmos. They have opened our eyes to the vast, uncharted regions of space and provided invaluable insights into the nature of interstellar travel. Even as the probes continue their journey, their data is contributing to new discoveries, revolutionizing our understanding of the universe and space exploration. As Voyager 1 and 2 continue to send data back to Earth, they are essentially functioning as the most distant ambassadors of humankind, carrying our hopes, dreams, and curiosity about the stars. Their voyage represents the quest for knowledge, the spirit of exploration, and the desire to reach beyond the confines of our home planet. Over the years, the probes have given us a glimpse into places we could never have imagined, expanding our horizons in ways that seemed impossible when these missions began. Each new discovery from the Voyager spacecraft adds to the treasure trove of knowledge we've gathered about the outer planets, the edge of our solar system, and even the vast, cold void that stretches into interstellar space. While the challenges faced by the Voyager missions, limited technology, enormous distances and the never-before-seen conditions of deep space, have been monumental, the success of these probes is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The missions demonstrate the power of exploration, the ability to push the boundaries of what we know, and the importance of curiosity. Looking ahead, these probes will continue to teach us about the universe long after their batteries and systems are no longer operational. Their legacy will endure, continuing to inspire future generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers who will carry on the work of pushing humanity's reach further into the cosmos. The Voyager spacecraft have proven that, no matter how far we travel, the pursuit of knowledge and understanding is endless. Their journey may take them into the great unknown, but it has already brought us closer to comprehending the mysteries of space and our place within it. It's a story of discovery, one that will resonate for generations to come.